Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday, October the 13th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 13, the three ways of service. Tertiaries desire to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ, whom we serve in the three ways of prayer, study, and work. In the life of the order, as a whole, these three ways must each find full and balanced expression, but it is not to be expected that all members devote themselves equally to each of them. Each individual service varies according to his or her abilities and circumstances, yet the member's personal rule of life includes each of the three ways. Merciful God, you have made your church rich through the poverty of Blessed Francis. Help us, like him, not to trust in earthly things, but to seek your heavenly gifts through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is in his holy temple. O come, let us worship. The Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 119, beginning at the first verse. Happy are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Happy are they who observe his decrees and seek him with all their hearts, who never do any wrong but always walk in his ways. You laid down your commandments, that we should fully keep them. Oh, that my ways were made so direct, that I might keep your statutes. Then I should not be put to shame, when I regard all your commandments. I will thank you with an unfeigned heart, when I have learned your righteous judgments. I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. How shall a young man cleanse his way? By keeping to your words. With my whole heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commandments. I treasure your promise in my heart that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Instruct me in your statutes. With my lips I will recite all the judgments of your mouth. I have taken, I have taken greater delight in the way of your decrees than in all manner of riches. I will meditate on your commandments and give attention to your ways. My delight is in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Deal bountifully with your servant, that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes, that I may see the wonders of your law. I am a stranger here on earth. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul is consumed at all times with longing for your judgments. You have rebuked the insolent. Cursed are they who stray from your commandments. Turn me from shame and rebuke, for I have kept your decrees, even though rulers sit and plot against me. I will meditate on your statutes, for your decrees are my delight, and they are my counselors. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, A disciple is not above the teacher, nor a slave above, above the master. It is enough for the disciple to be like the teacher, and the slave like the master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more will he malign those of his household? So have no fear of them, for nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered, and nothing secret that will not become known. What I say to you in the dark, 
tell in the light, and what you hear whispered, proclaim from the housetops. Do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. And even the hairs of your head are all counted. So do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. Everyone, therefore, who acknowledges me before others, I will also acknowledge before my Father in heaven. But whoever denies me before others, I also will deny before my Father in heaven. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us offer our prayers to the source of all love and all life, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the Church throughout the world. We pray for the Anglican Communion, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. We pray for churches that are struggling in this time of pandemic. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you will continue to give your church a vision for the future, and then give us the courage to follow where it is you lead. Merciful Lord, we pray for all who call themselves Christians, that we may become a royal priesthood, a holy nation, to the praise of Christ Jesus our Savior. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for William, our bishop, for Larry, our assisting bishop, for Greg, our metropolitan, for Mark, our national indigenous archbishop, for Linda, our primate, for Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, and for all bishops and other ministers, that they may remain faithful to their calling and rightly proclaim the word of truth. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Elizabeth, our Queen, for the leaders of the nations. We pray for our Prime Minister and members of Parliament, our Premier and members of the Legislature, our Mayor and Council, and all in authority, that your people may lead quiet and peaceable lives. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for this city and those who live here, the poor and the rich, the elderly and the young, men and women, that you will show your goodwill to all. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the victims of our society and those who minister to them. We pray for the sick, for those in our hospital or our nursing homes, those afflicted with COVID-19, awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions or isolation. And we pray for those this day that will suffer from the effects of systemic racism, prejudice, poverty, and homelessness. That you will be their help and defense. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those preparing for baptism, confirmation, or ordination, especially for Paul, Leon, and Barry, that they may be strengthened in the faith. 
Lord, hear our prayer. We give thanks for all the saints who have found favor in your sight from earliest times, prophets, apostles, martyrs, and those whose names are known to you alone. And we pray that we too may be counted among your faithful witnesses. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, in our baptism you adopted us for your own. Quicken, we pray, your spirit within us, that we, being renewed both in body and mind, may worship you in sincerity and truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And before we conclude, I'll do the prayers for the Third Order. We pray today for the African province, for Botswana, Uganda, and Zimbabwe. And we pray for Don, Della, Marcio, Nancy, Jill, Marva, Carmen, Patty, Carol, Robert, Judy, Magali, Amore, Barbara, Kale, Lorne, and Martha. And we pray for our companions, Scott, Frederick, and Jeannie. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray, that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis, and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.